Hi friends, it's Dr. Veronica, naturopathic physician, happily retired. Today we are going to talk about probiotic and prebiotic. Which one is the best on uh, the market? What kind of bacteria is supposed to be in probiotic? How much bacteria per peel? Um, what's the best time to take probiotic? How long? And should it, you take probiotic when you're taking antibiotic? Also, I want to say a few words about fermented food. So let's go. Many years ago, I created a video on, uh, on the other channel on the topic of fermented food, including kefir. I said that fermented food, including kefir, remains the best source of probiotic and prebiotic, and I stay firmly on this statement. If a person has a problem with the kefir because it's a dairy product, then experiment with other foods such as fermented cabbage, kimchi, or kombucha tea. Kombucha tea. If that's failed, go ahead and take probiotic with prebiotic. Prebiotic is not bacteria by any means. It's fibers, fructose oligosaccharides, uh, galactose oligosaccharides, inulin. They come from the whole grains and fruits and vegetables. When we take antibiotic, we basically kill good and bad bacteria in um, our digestive tract. And then bacteria has a higher chance to survive and it creates the environment that is specific for that. So modern understanding, you're supposed to take probiotic with prebiotic because prebiotic will create the environment for this good bacteria to go there, hook there and start to reproduce and actually will, will, will be increased, the rate of that will be increased and you will reestablish the balance between good and bad bacteria. And here on the right, you see the example of a, a bacteria that's supposed to be in probiotic. Many years ago on YouTube, I posted this video saying that this probiotic is the best and I remain strong on this statement. Broad spectrum probiotic from Progressive Lab, lab in my opinion, is the best. So 10 billion uh, bacteria per capsule. By the way, people ask question. I can take 50. Modern research does not support, does not support the idea more is better. So 10 billion is a good number. 10, 15, 20 billion per capsule is good number. So this is the back label. You take one couple of 10 billion and uh, different, uh, different probiotics. So Lactobacillus acidophilus, Bifidum bacterium, Bifidum, Bifidum brevis, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10, 11, 12, this is the best what we can do in, in the pill at this time. It also has prebiotic. That's why I like it. So in the nutshell, 10 different bugs, 10 billion per pill. Take between the meals. Don't mix with food early in the morning or before bedtime. If you're taking antibiotic, I usually discourage people to take a probiotic because with antibiotic, you just basically kill them and you waste your money. However, if patient is complaining about abdominal, abdominal pain, gas, bloating, undigestion, constipation, diarrhea, all the symptoms of um, side effect of antibiotic, then the answer is <clears throat> yes. When to take the probiotic if you take antibiotic? Suppose you take antibiotic at um, 11 a.m. and 11 p.m., then you take probiotic smack in the middle, right? So uh, you, in general, I tell people, you're supposed to take probiotic for one month, but if you take it with antibiotic, then what you do, you count the days. You take it for eight days, with antibiotic, then plus one more month. By the way, if you uh, want me to be your coach, let me know, like, and subscribe. So you take for probiotic for one month, create this environment, bacteria will reproduce and you're supposed to get better. Sometimes people say, you know what, one month is not enough. I said, okay, you can try the second month. Some people say that in the moment they will start probiotic, the symptoms come back. So what does it mean? It means that the environment in the small intestine is not that, that the bacteria, even with prebiotic, was not able to hook their reproduce and create the balance between good and bad. It means that you have to look further than probiotic and prebiotic. You have to look into liver. Does it create, you know, contributes to environment in the small intestine, pancreatic enzymes, brush border enzymes. You have to look into constipation. In any words, look further 
if probiotic and prebiotic did not help. That's it for today, guys. Like, subscribe. I post the link to this probiotic in description below. If you buy it from there, I will get reimbursed. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And um, you can see that I, I try to answer all your questions. And I am so happy that I can help people. Okay. 